What's up, Bulls fans? Welcome back to the second episode of the day. Breaking news. Terry Rozier was just traded from the Hornets to the Miami Heat for Kyle Lowry. The Hornets are getting a contract that they're probably going to be able to get off of very easily, and the Heat get their score that they've been looking for since the offseason, matching Terry Rozier with Jimmy Butler, a great player to add to this team, and that symbolizes another team in the East that's making moves to make themselves a playoff deep run type of team and the Bulls once again staying stagnant and staying with continuity is that something we're going to see continue this year we'll talk about that right after the intro Give me the hot sauce, Bob. welcome to the let's talk Bulls podcast your number one Bulls podcast in Chicago Welcome back to Let's Talk Bulls, your number one Bulls podcast in Chicago. My name's Quentin. I'm your host. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Hit that subscribe button so you join the family and hit that bell notification so you're notified when I drop more of these videos. And we're going to get right into it. This is a quick video to go over the breaking news of Terry Rozier being traded to the Miami Heat. The Miami Heat get a bona fide score and a player who's averaging 23 points a game, six, most likely six seven assists a game and four rebounds a game. They're getting a great talent that's going to help them move forward in their playoff run. And honestly, I think Terry's a great fit for the Miami Heat culture. He's already a good scorer. He does try to play defense and he gets his teammates involved. But when you look at the Miami Heat type of culture, they're going to get the most out of Terry Rozier and what he can do. And that's going to be something that helps Jimmy Butler widely. Okay. They've been looking for a star to match with Jimmy Butler, someone who can take a little bit of the pressure off of Jimmy so he doesn't have to be the end all be all at all times so i think this is not only going to help not just the heat but it's really going to take some of that slack off of jimmy butler because when you look at terry terry's a scorer the man can make the ball go in the net he is one of the league's people where you never know what's going to happen he could go off he can get hot just like that and that's something you got to watch out for and him having a player like jimmy butler who wants to pass him the ball, who wants to get teammates involved. I definitely think it's going to help Terry take his game to the next level. I see great things for him on the Heat. And honestly, at this point, it sucks to say, but I'm a Heat culture fan. I love seeing people go to the Heat. I love seeing what the Heat can do to players. So this is going to be a great signing that really pushes them to a new level in the playoffs and maybe helps them push themselves a little bit closer to contending for another title. Now, that takes me to the next thing I want to talk about. The Heat made a move. Milwaukee also made a move firing their coach. Um, even though they're one of the best teams in the league, they fired their coach. They're moving on. We can't do that because, well, we don't know how long Billy Donovan is going to be here because none of us know what his contract is. But this is one of those things that really show you that other teams have been making moves, whether it's coaching, whether it's playing, whether it's trades, whether it's signing people. They're trying to get better. But it seems like the Bulls are just stuck. Right? We keep hearing the same word, continuity, continuity, continuity. We want to see what we have. And at this point, yes, Kobe White's been playing amazing. He's been stepping it up and becoming arguably one of the best point guards in the league at the current moment in his stretch. Maybe not next year, who knows? But right now, he's really making a great point to being most improved, having a chance of making an all-star game, and being one of the best shooters in the league. But the issue here is, Kobe cannot do it all himself. Patrick Williams is slowly developing. The Bulls are looking to trade Zach. They're maybe getting rid of DeMar. They might be getting rid of Caruso. They may be getting rid of Lonzo Ball. There's so many maybes and ifs and what ifs. But the issue here is we're not seeing the Bulls do anything. And as a Bulls fan, it's something that gets on your nerves. Now, this isn't something where I'm like other Bulls fans who are diehard, the sky is falling Bulls fans, as Hayes likes to call them on Chicago Bulls Central. I don't think that because the Bulls aren't doing anything right now, I don't think that means they've never done anything, right? The Bulls have made great moves, right? They got Vooch at the trade deadline. They went out and got DeMar. They went out and got Lonzo. They went out and got Caruso. They made a lot of moves to make this team a contender. But those things didn't work out. And what we're seeing is the Bulls have struggled to figure out what to do now that those things have failed. And we're in a consistent state of shit right now. We don't know who we're trading. We don't know if people want to be here anymore. We don't know who the star of the team is. We don't know what the future of the team holds. Are we trying to get draft picks? Are we trying to get to the future of the playoffs? What are we trying to do as a team? None of us know. And as fans, that's something that is scary going forward with your team. It's not knowing what the plan is. What are we looking for? Because 
it's one thing for them to say, hey, we're going to be bad. But what's going to happen is in three years, we're going to start to be good again. Cool. We have something to wait for. Or they make a trade that maybe we hate. They might make a trade that the Bulls fans say, no, that person does not belong in this team. I'm going to be 100% real. If they were to trade for Grayson Allen right now, everyone on the Bulls roster, everyone on the Bulls atmosphere would say, no, hell no. We hate Grayson. Get Grayson off this damn team. But I guarantee you if they did that and Grayson started shooting 47% from the field and helped us start winning games, everyone would love him again. Because Bulls fans hate what we don't know, right? We always complain whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. We complain about every move that's being made. Either it's a good move and we complain because we don't see it yet, or it's a move that we say is going to be terrible, or we think it's going to be amazing. It's always us complaining. It doesn't matter what happens. So we have to kind of sit back at this point and see what AK does. But at this point, watching other teams really take off and move forward, it really begs the question, are the Bulls going to do something that really shakes up this team? Or are we going to once again sit back and hope for continuity and hope that we are a team that just develops into a championship contender? With that, what I want to do is I want to hear from you guys. What do you guys think about this team? First, comment below. Let me know what you think about the Terry Rozier trade. Do you think he'll fit well with the Miami Heat? Do you think that culture will help him go to new heights? And second, do you think the Bulls will stay pat at the trade deadline? Do you think we'll trade Zach or do you think we're just going to keep him? What are your thoughts? Leave them down in the comment section. Once again, this is the second video of today. So if you guys are rocking with the channel, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and keep following these videos. Share it with a friend. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year we're taking this to the new heights we're going to be the number one bulls podcast on youtube and we're going to keep bringing you this espn style quality each and every week with that y'all have a great day hopefully we got to talk again today about the bulls not doing something peace